Structural elevations allow us to create details of specific structural areas in our model. They also simplify the drawing of certain elements, such as our cross bracing. In order to execute the tool, all we have to do is move up here to the View tab. And once again, the reason why we're going to the View tab, if we're going to be creating something new like this, is because we're going to be creating a new view of our model. So up here underneath the View tab, there's this option here that says Elevation. Now, technically, there's actually two different ones here. One's a building elevation and one's a framing elevation. And the one that we want to choose in this case is going to be a framing elevation. Building elevations are these odd little symbols that we've been looking at here on the outside here. And what the building elevations do is that they show the entire building. I mean, every piece of steel, every floor, they show everything. Framing elevations, on the other hand, are only going to show those framing elements that we're going to be close to. And we'll see those results here in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here and click on Framing Elevation. Next, I want to place this between our bays number three and four, which means it's going to be right in this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom into this area. And as soon as you get close to something that which happens to be on the structural grid, like in this case we have the grid letter D, we'll see our Framing Elevation symbol show up. Now I'm just going to place this roughly right here in the middle. I'll click. We can already see it says it's going to be Elevation 1A, which means if we take a look over here on our project browser, it'll also be Framing Elevations, and it's going to be Elevation 1A. This information and this information is always going to pretty much be the same. So you'll know if you see this information showing up here, it's going to be the same information over here in the project browser. That being said, we can go ahead and hit Escape a couple times just to make sure that we're out of command. And then we can either double click right here in order to be able to bring up that view. Or the other option is you can come in here and click really fast where this little triangular shape shows up. So two real quick fast clicks. This is what a framing elevation is going to look like. Now with the framing elevations, one of the things I mentioned with a regular building elevation is it shows everything. The framing elevation only shows those structural members which happen to be right there along that structural grid that we placed it next to. So here we have three and four, and then just those members which happen to be along that structural grid which was highlighted when we clicked. But we can see all these different levels going all the way up to the roof level. Right now it's a little bit hard to read because it's just single individual lines. But the reason why that is, is because down here we have our detail level and it's set to course. If we want to be able to see a finer level of detail, we can change this to be a fine level of detail. And then we can see such things as the floors that are there. We can see the structural members which are supporting those floors. And if we zoom out a little bit here and zoom down to the bottom, here we can even see our foundation walls as well as our footings down here at the bottom. By using these framing elevations, they allow us to more easily document and model our existing structural conditions.